Greetings, forgive me. My energy is a little low. All right, so here's the deal. <laughs> I think it's funny that I'm on video. <laughs> it's been a while. Nah, but 2020, it's all about the year. I made a, a post on Facebook like a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. I was like, 2020 is your perfect vision. So if you don't get that, and it's not even just like a cliche because everybody knows 2020 vision, you know what I'm saying? But for real, on a collective consciousness level, it's already been manifested that in 2020, it makes perfect sense that everybody's going to start waking up to the bullshit. It's been known that the government, it's a bunch of liars. You know what I'm saying? Big corporations, a bunch of thieves. At the end of the day, this whole world, Earth, was built on polarity. If you don't understand that concept, that means... Whatever, whenever there's something this way, there's got to be something that way. If there's up, there's down. Without down, there's no up and vice versa. So that means without good, there's no bad. So for y'all religious people, it's God and the devil, right? Good and evil. You have to choose, at this point in your life, For the, I'm talking to the majority of people that are going to be watching the video. At this point in your life, you've been choosing to take the negative path your whole life. You have been choosing not to realize that people have been lying to you. That you've been, you know what I'm saying, bamboozled. The wool pulled over your eyes, you feel me? With that being said, 2020, y'all gotta wake up for real. My thoughts is going crazy, my thoughts are crazy. At the same time, I put myself in an environment where it's like, I don't know the divine reason for why I put myself here, but I'm back in my grandmother's house, right? And it's not a crack on anybody in the house. There's the simple fact that you can feel that there's like negative ass energy in here, you feel me? Like somebody left the devil in this house. And I wasn't fully, my biggest thing, my biggest flaw, let me not say, yeah, I say flaw per se, is that I'm always trying to fix some shit where it's loose, you feel me? I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to fix something. But what I have to come to realize is that before I fix anything else outside of me, I gotta fix what's inside of me, you feel me? As above, so below. As within, so without. And it's crazy because I came here. I was on a, I was on a real high tip because I was really, I was really vibrating. I had some shit to get out. I was meditating all that. I, I haven't been only. I've been down here for like maybe a month or something. I've only been able to meditate like twice. And at the same time, two different levels. It's like it's my fault. But at the same time, it's like everything happens for a reason. So wherever the journey leads you, you're exactly where you belong. And whatever's whatever ready to unravel for you is gonna come in due time. At a divine time and no sooner, no later. So whatever energy you put out, there's like 14 laws, universal laws. If you don't know them, go look them up. There's plenty of YouTube videos on them. I'll maybe make a YouTube video about it someday. But one of the biggest laws is the law of attraction. Karma, pretty much, what you put out has no choice but to come back to you. People get confused with like when they hear karma, they immediately think, "Oh, something bad, something bad gonna happen." If you think it off rip, if you think in karma something bad, chances are you've been doing some bad shit, and that's your guilty conscience being like, "Oh, somebody said karma, something gonna come back and get me, something gonna come back and bite me." I mean, <laughs> if that's the case, you're not somebody I need to be around. You're not somebody that nobody want to be around. You feel me? Y'all, bottom line, just do better. Just do better. But don't get down on yourself. This is why I don't get down on myself, because I know that. So, on the collective, I don't know, y'all not even gonna understand. A lot of y'all is not gonna understand this, but on the collective consciousness level, it's a battle. It's rising and falling all the time, rising and falling. I'm trying to get in sync with the higher level and always be above the, you know what I'm saying, above the line. But even when I'm above the line and I'm getting receiving all my blessings, stress free, anxiety free, feel me, depression free. I don't I don't I'm, I don't get depressed anymore. I don't get stressed anymore. I still deal with a little bit of anxiety here and there. What I realize about that is that's just a resistance. That's the universe trying to tell me this is not for you. And the quicker you get that message and you know what I'm saying, heed the warnings, the better off you'll be. But on a collective consciousness level that we say was one soul of many bodies, which means there's we all possess the same soul. 
we're just split into different little egos, different little bodies, you feel me? And we all have our own little spirits to go along with it. But this glob of meat, this body, is just like spiritual soul says. I hate to stay in shit, but this glob of meat, yo, this is not it, yo. This is not it. This is not it. And yo, shout out to Spiritual Soul. I've been watching videos for a while now. And I've manifested already that me and you, we're going to have to collab on something soon. 2020, the year, I'm telling you, 2020, the year. But yeah, on a collective level, everything's rising and falling. So when I go do some dirty shit, like smoke a cigarette or smoke some weed or eat something I know I'm not supposed to eat, in the moment it's like, what am I doing, bro? Why can't I? But it's almost as if I can't, I can't not do it, you feel me? Because I'm playing my role at the end of the day, but I know this more positive stuff, like the thoughts that are coming through my head right now, that's a part of the raising consciousness. So it's always going up and down, up and down, up and down. So just the fact that I've been drinking hella water today, made a little nice little fruit smoothie, da 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 da. That's letting me know that my vibration is going up, which means that my sister's vibration is going up in some shape or form, or that somebody's vibration, everybody's vibration is going up right now. In some shape, form, weight, and is going up. Not to say that in 20 minutes or some shit, I'm, I might get the urge to go do some dirty shit and not be able to fight it. Because, all right, there's two different, there's two, I'm getting too deep into it. I'm getting way too deep into it, yo, let me just, let's see. I got good information coming out, but my ability to focus on one thing and, like, direct it, that's my, that's my weak point right now. So, pretty much, bottom line is, what was the bottom line I was thinking of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Pretty much bottom line is, yo, just stay woke. This is keep your head up, man. And I'm talking to myself, too, when I say this. I'm talking to me, the man in the mirror. Because I know that everybody's just a reflection of me. You feel me? On some level. There's people that are more advanced than me. There's people that are, you know, farther behind than me. But at the end of the day, we're all going for the same thing. We're all trying to get back to that source energy. To that God, that creative energy that we came from. You feel me? It doesn't matter which path you take, they all, every path leads home. Every path leads home. That's why I don't get down on myself when I be thinking like, a lot of my family members, 2020, they're not gonna ever reach their higher self. Not ever, not ever. But in the time frame that I'm allowed it, I'm allowed, I allowed it myself to have, you know what I'm saying, that I formulated in my brain of me, you know I'm saying 100 years, I got 100 years on this earth, theoretically. I don't, I don't necessarily see them reaching that in this time frame you feel me but i watched a video the other day it was um shout out to aaron abke i think that's how you say his last name aaron abke he said so pretty much and aaron Dottie said the same thing if you're 50, more than 51 percent positive positively oriented you already made the cut pretty much so at some form or another you've already manifested that you're going to reach your higher self you're going to reach your you know what i'm saying you're going to get an abundance of blessings and happiness and all that and like joy bliss all that you have to be 95 percent negatively oriented to go on a negative path which means that if you're not 90 i don't know where the i don't know the math behind it but if you're not 95 if you're not 95 percent negatively oriented which means you just can't help but be negative you feel me like everything is that's a pessimist everything is just negative depressed stressed and, and, and anxious it's negative you feel me you know those type of people if you're teetering right now and you're trying to figure out why can i you get these little glimpses of happiness and bliss and you be asking yourself why can't i have that all the time you will you will very shortly and when i say very shortly it could be a couple months it could be a couple years it could be a decade but in the grand scheme of things a decade and all of eternity that's nothing that's nothing like that's nothing at all that's where patience when they say patience is a virtue that shit really rings deep because ever since i learned patience life has just become so much easier because i don't have to it just immediately canceled out stress you know what i'm saying because what's the point of being impatient you know everything is going to come anyways you feel me everything is going to come everything is going to happen it's already happened everything that has happened will happen some shit like that everything that's happening as has happened and will happen has already happened right now you feel me everything occurs right now you just gotta buckle down and just 
just know that better days are coming, you feel me? All right, so I'm rambling at this point. So I'm going to sign off. Boom. King's Eye in the building. Big blessings coming 2020. Stay woke.